We begin with that massive jump in COVID-19 cases and deaths. The latest numbers now from Johns Hopkins University. Worldwide diagnosed cases of coronavirus soaring to more than 51 and a half million. Cases in the U.S. now up to over 10.2 million and at least 239,000 American lives lost. But the number we've been focusing so much on, the daily right. number, what, 130 plus thousand we had just the other day. Exactly. And that's just, we're going the wrong direction. We certainly are. And so, yes, with all of these numbers rising, we do want some good news. And yeah. there has been some promising news yeah. uh, as it pertains to vaccines. So give us a sense, um, as we're waiting to get FDA authorization, what are the criteria that scientists are looking at to push these vaccines ahead? So imminently in the next couple of weeks, we think that w at least one vaccine developer will be approaching the FDA for emergency use authorization. So let's go through what the ideal vaccine characteristics would be. Of course, safety and efficacy, number one, they will be looking at that uh, first and foremost. And then the ideal vaccine will have long lasting protection. What does that mean? At least one season or one year. Uh, Single dose would be ideal, although the Pfizer candidate was two doses given 21 days apart. Single dose would be even better and easier. It also has to be a vaccine that's easily stored, easily transported, and easily administered. Doesn't have to be stored at incredibly cold temperatures or transported that way. And of course, produced quickly and in massive quantities, not just for the population here in the United States, but worldwide. Quickly, large quantities. This is being done at breakneck record speed. Yeah. even a lot of concerns about safety. So what's the, but the FDA has got our back on this? There we are, okay? and I've been in touch with the FDA, both Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn and the head of the FDA vaccine development region. They have told me that they will be making this decision for a vaccine or vaccines based on, quote, undistracted science. So safety will come first. Uh, difference between emergency use authorization and full FDA approval is basically they're tracking safety for three months, two to three months for emergency use authorization, full six months for full approval. Um, the, the bar is set high, you guys. They are not going to mm. compromise or rush approval if this vaccine is not safe. That should make us all feel better, right? All right, Dr. Asher, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.